Hi everyone, welcome to Steve's Garage. In today's video, I'll be covering how to perform a parasitic draw test on a car battery. If your car battery is dying overnight, over the course of the workday, or maybe even over a day or two, it could be a parasitic draw causing your problem. Before going down this road, make sure that your alternator and battery are both functioning well and in good health. I've got a separate video you can watch for that procedure here. Do that before doing this video. If your battery and alternator check out and your battery is still dying quicker than it should, this test could help nail down your issue. Start by locating your car battery and doing a simple voltage test. You want to make sure that it's properly charged before beginning this procedure. If it isn't, put it on a charger or drive the car around to get it up to at least 12 and volts. Once you're ready to go, you want to make sure that your car is in whatever state it sits in overnight. That means lights off, key out, doors closed, and locked. Some cars may have an under hood light or a switch just like a door. Make sure that the light is off and the switch is tricked into thinking that the hood is closed. On modern cars with passive entry, make sure that the key is out of range so the car isn't searching for it. Now you need to wait for the car to go to sleep. Older, more simple vehicles can take just a couple minutes, while something newer or a car with a lot of luxury features can take 30 minutes to an hour. Make sure the positive lead on the multimeter is in the amp port. It'll be a different port than what we just used to measure the volts from. We'll then be wiring the multimeter in series with the negative battery cable and post on the battery. You can't short a ground, so this is the safer way to do it as opposed to wiring it on the positive side. Start with the highest amp setting and then move down from there. You can now do it one of two ways. If it's possible, connect one lead to the post and one lead to the cable before you disconnect it. Then when disconnecting the battery, the multimeter will be in series and there will be no interruption in power. If you can't do that and you disconnect the cable and then wire in the multimeter, you'll need to wait for the car to go to sleep again since the power was disconnected and reconnected. You can see in my case where I disconnected the battery cable before attaching the multimeter, the amp draw is initially high and then it drops down. You're looking for less than 50 milliamps. Anything higher than that is a parasitic draw, anything lower than that, and your car is all set. Except if you see a reading of zero. First try changing your scale. If you still have zero, check your leads or the multimeter itself. You could have a damaged meter or a blown fuse. If you do suspect a blown fuse, check out a video that I made here, I have an easy way to diagnose it. Lastly, if you have a negative number, you can switch the leads to make it positive, but that negative doesn't matter, it'll be the same value either way. If you connect your multimeter and it's above 50 milliamps, now it's time for diagnostics. If you've got any kind of aftermarket lights, an alarm or remote start system, gauges, radio, anything that's not stock, check those things first. You can pull their fuses or disconnect them one by one, and if that's not the case, it's time to move on to the car's fuse box. Locate the fuse box and start to pull fuses out one by one until you see the reading on the meter drop. Once you see that number go down to an acceptable level, you've found the culprit. In some cases, it could be multiple fuses, so if it lowers a little bit but still not below 50 milliamps, maybe you've got two items that are causing this draw. It could be something as simple as a switch that's malfunctioning or as complex as a wiring issue. If you can't repair it right away and it's not a critical system to the car, just leave the fuse pulled and it should solve your battery drain. Remember to check out my other battery and alternator testing videos here, as well as the rest of my channel for some other great automotive tutorials. If you found this video helpful, slam that subscribe button and steady your hood. Thanks for watching, everybody.